favorite song on the deluxe? Oof, ooh, you guys were about to get me to say a title that is not out yet. You, you guys are sneaky. Okay, so tour is pending, but tonight the Apple Music concert comes out, um, I believe at 7 PST, and it's so good. It's the first show that we did, and we've got like fucking robot dogs on there and like guys doing crazy BMX tricks. So if you want to get a sneak peek of what CXOXO tour would kind of be like, it's going to be on Apple Music Live starting tonight. There sure is, honey. You know, it all started with a walk on the beach when there was June gloom, tool fog. I would describe Magic City Edition CXOXO as true core CXOXO. Like it's like so core CXOXO. Like the name of the album came from one of the songs on Magic City Edition. So you'll know once you hear the songs. It's like they're so like she's so CXOXO Magic City Edition. Like the most CXOXO. Some lip gloss please mother my priority right now at the moment is getting healthy because i got knocked out by an insane sinus infection and and it was an ear infection that turned into a sinus infection i know what the fuck am i five years old but i could not hear literally my ear was so clogged up and i had like a fever and it was so so bad and I'm, i've been sick for like a week so yeah, I'm just really, really focused on my health because I don't remember the last time I was so sick. Baby, I have creative control over everything. I wrote a lot of songs for this album. Um, I would say there's probably like 20, maybe 20 scrap songs that I feel like are really still good songs, but just had nothing to do with what CXOXO became. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to once everything kind of calms down and becomes less hectic to listen to those songs and be like, huh, I wonder if there's more life for them somewhere else. I think CXOXO was the hardest album to make because I challenged myself to not have any other co-writers. And I don't know, just coming in every day and not having the kind of security blanket of being like, people are looking to me for the ideas and for the lyrics and melodies of the song, um, at first just felt really nerve wracking. So I feel like CXOXO for that reason was, was probably the hardest and had to deal with like all the kind of self doubt and all of that, that comes with that. Um, but yeah, probably they're, but they're all hard for different reasons. I can imagine that boat was a wild ride for you to me meeting my fans and seeing them at shows and seeing sweet things that you know you guys say to me is like so re-energizing because I find so many aspects of dealing with people can be so like draining and hurtful and my fans feel like people that really understand me and truly love me and are rooting for me and it just feels like such a such an innocent and genuine love. And I truly am always thinking about like how to give that joy back to them and how to give that excitement and inspiration back to them. Um, so it's a really beautiful like relationship and feeling that I feel like I have with, with you guys. And I'm really so grateful for it. Like the co kind of community that we have together feels so loving and yeah, I love the fuck out of you guys. I truly fucking do. Honestly, Justice for Bad Kind of Butterflies. I feel like that song is so good. And it's actually so CXOXO coded once I, like if I listen to it and think about it. Bad, bad, bad kind of butterflies. Like, when you got something to hide. Uh. I feel like that song is so good. 